Good morning guys, how are we all doing? I am Dan from Trading with Dan and this is our hump day um, Bitcoin update. So if you guys wouldn't mind smashing that like button and we shall go straight over to those Bitcoin 4 hour charts. So yeah, Bitcoin on the 4 hour looking, we're looking relatively good here. You can see that we did push above. Um, above these highs uh, above this horizontal here and we well we did actually pull back but still holding above um, not that we're going to draw it in but holding above these uh, these uh, these price levels and these wicks down here so uh, yeah not looking too bad looking like we can um, basically get a forward check a, a back check of sorts and then get that acceleration up towards 67,000 um, obviously if we don't um, get moving soon this will just be a swing failure and then I think we could pretty much say if we move below about 62 and a half thousand um, then yeah, we will probably we will probably move back down into this range um, with with obviously the low of around sixty thousand um, dollars. So yeah, I mean we can see quite clearly we've kind of got this whole area. It has encapsulated price action since uh, for a while actually. Look if you can see we had broke out a little bit there, broke below a little bit there, broke well I'd say we haven't really broken above now quite properly yet. Um, but yeah, this is sort of the range we are in at the moment. So yeah, can we establish a high value relationship? Can we get can we can we bust our way up uh, to trade in this range? At which case, obviously, sixty-seven thousand becomes a target, um, and then yeah, taking that sixty-seven thousand. Obviously, we all know uh, price discovery, but um, yeah, we'll have to obviously see what happens when we get there. But but realistically, I will re <laughs> I will revert back to my overall view that um, yeah. Bitcoin trades sideways within a large range uh, for the majority of the time and then goes on uh, goes on fast aggressive trending moves um, and are we quite ready for another one of those fast aggressive trending moves right now or do we want to or will the, will the market do we want to will the market wait a couple of weeks I, I suspect it may wait a couple of weeks um, consolidate around here maybe test 67,000 maybe break above come back below um, if we are uh, well yeah if we are to make that big acceleration towards 100k I think we will uh, potentially just consolidate around this area uh, for a couple of weeks but uh, yeah just pure pure crystal pure crystal ball speculation there uh, but that's kind of what I, I think I would expect to see um, if we do go and have a look at the ethereum satoshi pairing it is also uh, indicating that it believes uh, Bitcoin isn't really going to go anywhere in a hurry because uh, obviously that is when uh, ethereum will underperform against Bitcoin so this is now broken above an important horizontal um, we were in a pretty aggressive downtrend as you can see here um, we had a lot we had a lot of work to do uh, we had to get back above uh, well we had to first and foremost we had to break this downtrend get above this back above this uh, um, what this level that we broke below then above this level then obviously this important level here um, and then um, yeah I mean this is quite an important level here as well that we're now above um, because we don't have a too much price action now um, in the way of uh, moving onwards and upwards above this above this resistance level and then above these highs uh, so it is looking very constructive but again again I will reserve you I will uh, re I will refer you uh, to my uh, sideways sideways markets trading hypothesis obviously within a large range plenty of room to maneuver bounce around to the top and the bottom of the range but um, yeah you can see we pretty much do have just a sideways range here um, so yeah ultimately ultimately my bias is that this will break to the upside I mean clearly we are uh, moving off the back of an of, of an uptrend as you can see so um, if we do get this uh, quite a quite a substantial um, um, Wyclef cause uh, Wyclef <laughs> Wyclef Wyclef Jean. Uh, we get this uh, Wyclef uh, cause being built. Um, they, we can we could we could definitely see a pretty substantial effect um, from such a a, a a cause that has built up for such such a long period of time, um, and that could that could really get that could obviously really get us going. Um, so yeah. Um, this is looking potentially looking potentially good, but yeah, like I said, until we do break above this above this level, um, realistically, we are we are pretty much just trading sideways. Um, what else do we look at? Yeah, let's look at the ETH USD pairing because it is it is a uh, as you keep hearing those finance 1.0 uh, 
uh, people say. We are ETH, ATH. Uh, they just love saying that. I feel like they feel like they're smart or something. I don't even know, but all I keep hearing is ETH, ATH. Uh, yeah, Ethereum all time high. Well done, well done. Yeah, uh, ETH is is the ticker for ETH. Congratulations, guys. ATH is the, is the stands for all time high. Well done, guys. Um, but yeah, as we can see, looking 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 very good. Uh, it is looking very good. I mean, clearly this may help. Obviously, the Ethereum. Um, the Ethereum Satoshi pairing go up because obviously uh, Ethereum is up here at all time highs in price discovery and Bitcoin is not at all time highs and is not in price discovery. Therefore, we should expect um, uh, the price action to be uh, more wet and wild in Ethereum and therefore potentially outperform Bitcoin um, for, for the um, for the uh, period of time that Bitcoin is not doing anything, anything um, wet and wild itself. Uh, Bitcoin dominance obviously moving back in the moving, sorry, moving back, moving down in the face of this as well. So. Um, I mean, it's looking, I mean, at the moment, obviously, we've got lows, highs, uh, higher lows, lower highs, and obviously not putting a low yet, but this could just be a sort of a massive bull flag to the downside, but once we do break below these levels, this, this uh, support here, and then we make our way down into this, this will be, in my opinion, the end of, uh, of the bull run. Uh, of this uh, this iteration of the bull run when we <clears throat> have Bitcoin dominance down here and we have some absolutely stupendous gains uh, in some altcoins um, that that I believe where it will where it will uh, where it will end so obviously plenty of time uh, to make down here we make our way down here if we indeed do actually make our way down here I mean we can easily and uh, get um get close to this support turn back up um get back up to anywhere around around even actually the trend line or anywhere around the midpoint and then come back down and break down that could happen i mean we could just we something could happen blast i, I don't i mean i'm clearly like um displaying a bias there where if i say it's a black swan is the only thing that can ruin 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 our ruin our, our gains but yeah i mean for whatever reason if Bit, if bitcoin does put in the top starts to go down uh goes into a bear market and then bitcoin dominance yeah can obviously move up and then it, we can move up obviously from here but um yeah like clear, clearly my bias is to the downside uh dollar index putting the squeeze on again putting the squeeze on but um not really going uh anywhere at the moment um so yeah not really going anywhere at the moment obviously uh obviously airing towards the bullish side as you can see holding up towards nearer the highs than well i mean where are the lows the lows we've, we've been moving up for a while uh but ultimately we'll just have to see how this plays out see see what happens i mean <coughs> The market is the market finance 1.0 it has got some serious questions to ask itself um and they do seem to be exiting exiting pretty quickly into uh, into crypto lots of finance 1.0 people they do their day jobs uh they do their day jobs in in finance 1.0 markets but but they just they just play around in the crypto markets with like their own capital and that's all they're really interested in a lot of them um there is a shift there is there is certainly a shift um because yeah we're we're on the fastest horse here we are on the fastest horse as as we know um stocks though obviously i mean they, they, their day job their day job is clearly doing is clearly doing doing them a solid as well as you can see uh this looking good um nas coin as well um nas coin as well um looking good i mean um yeah just crack up boom the dow the dow as well uh obviously moving up russell probably not looking so good because uh well take that back i say russell not looking so good because it always struggles but russell uh the russell um uh this is russell 2000 yeah russell 2000 which is um obviously um a more of a uh, more of a uh, barometer um of of the actual state of the real economy as you can see just getting up there um and yeah that could break out and move onwards and upwards and that um that would be um probably be a be a rotation out some of these uh some of these um um other other indices other more concentrated indices but um yeah we also well should also should we look at i mean should we look at gold is there any reason to look at gold 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 <laughs> gold is the new russell russell 2000 is is gold is the new russell 2000 it doesn't really go anywhere 
Um, but yeah, let's not FUD gold too hard because, like I say, if everything everything hits the fan and we run out of electricity and internet, then um, yeah, the gold gold will outperform crypto. <laughs> but trust me. Uh, but is that a likely scenario? Um, probably not. So it should be pricing um, um, with 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 such uh, um, small pro small probabilities. Um, but right, uh, I think that is everything uh, to uh, look at on here. Um, so let's go back to uh, these stochastics. These stochastics, we do know it. it we're getting mixed messages, especially from these uh, these ten and twelve hours. Uh, four hour as well. Uh, four hour did obviously move up, get us get us a push up, but now is uh, now is looking a bit toppy. Has it dragged the ten and twelve hour back to the upside? Yeah, I mean I suspect it has, but let's wait. Let's do our daily our daily wait. Um, yeah, I mean it is moving up, but now it's turned back down. Twelve hour, twelve hour, yeah, moving up nicely. So this looks good as well. Four hour looking toppy, but um, ten hour, four hour and ten hour potentially looking toppy, but twelve hour looking good daily. This is one of the best, one of the best uh, stochastic reads that I think we're looking at to um to basically support price action like i said i'm not saying we're about to bust up to 100k breakout 67 and a half and and go on go on a, go on a mad one right yet but um i do think this is going to give us a support to um basically hold in and around that um in and around the high level of the range we're currently in basically uh today also we'll look to um look to turn back up after somewhat of a bullish reset uh, similarly eventually with three day providing price act providing these time frames do pull us through five days starting to tip back over here as well weekly though looking great bi-weekly as we know looking um absolutely great um and monthly turn back up and looking good as well so i mean the destination the destination couldn't be more clear to myself um, and that is uh, that is a potential fam famous last words. Um, everything's statistic and probabilities, and I just assign just a very high uh, um, probability now that we do make our way to 100k and beyond. But like I said, like I say, um, that is a destination. The route we take um, is is what is to be uh, what is to be discovered. Um, so yeah, I mean. Like I said, I expect to be at sideways. Uh, then we start to push up. Obviously, then I won't necessarily expect literally a straight shot from 67 to 100k. We'll probably we'll stop at a few levels, consolidate, pull back, back test. You you know how it works. You know how price action meanders around. This is what we do. We we study price action, um, and then obviously. Um, yeah, just look to see, look to see um, what we can expect going forward. So yeah, ultimately, um, ultimately we keep, I, I keep repeating this, but we are in a crack up boom. Um, more, more and more people do talk about this now. I mean, and I say this in every video: the Fed can't, the Fed can't do anything. There is, there is too much debt. The economy is in such a dire, a dire state. Um, supply chains are literally wrecked. Which if nothing else that gives them an excuse for inflation and to not do anything because they don't want to and can't do anything anyway so uh, it is good in a way for the fed they have this go to uh, go to lie uh, to blame it on just everything on supply chains um, don't get me wrong supply chains are an issue they are a clear a clear issue that are causing uh, large parts of, of the inflation um but yeah just uh there you go it's a it's a cover cover for the fed but um but there we go guys uh yeah this is not financial advice i'm not a financial advisor always do your own research and i shall speak to you guys soon